Oh, Lord. What's going on, y'all, man? We all know and love Nigel Houston. We all know he's one of the best skateboarders, one of the best street skateboarders, a contest dominator, all around great dude. But what if I told you that he ain't such a great dude after all? What if I told you that Nigel Houston is actually a dickhead? Nigga, really a douche. A big ass douchebag. That's not even a word I use. This nigga is a douchebag, though. Like, that's the only word that I could use to describe this man after learning the information that I just recently learned about him. This dude, Jarrell Ware, just recently did an interview with Lamont Hope on the Beautiful Day podcast. Shout out Lamont Hope. I grew up watching this nigga video, so I fuck with that nigga heavy. So I'm definitely tuning in to damn near every episode of this nigga podcast. It's a great podcast. Please go watch it if y'all haven't already seen it. If y'all ain't already hip, go subscribe to Lamont Hope. I ain't even subscribed to the nigga, but y'all get what I'm saying, though. Go watch this nigga videos. And Jarrell Ware is a uh, a young influencer coming up from California as well. He came up with Lamont Hope. He had a crazy experience with Nigel Houston, man, and that shit made me look at Nigel a completely different way. So we finna watch this video so y'all can get a peek into what I just discovered about Nigel. And I'm not trying to just make y'all hate him. I ain't trying to just make anybody hate him, but I do want to shed some more light on this because, like, they say don't meet your idols. And bro was bro idolized Nigel Houston, and when he met him, Shit yeah, was crazy. I know, I know a story. So, yeah, tell me one. All right, so you know I was sponsored by Element, mm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I used to like the homies up because I think I was like the first one to be sponsored in our neighborhood. And this is Lamont. For those that don't know, this is Lamont talking. Y'all finna see Jarrell. I used to get a lot of skateboards. I'm not gonna see my niggas struggle. So I'm going to get him some skateboards. Yeah, cold. I music. gave you a Nigel Houston board. Oh, Nigel. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Okay. I, I got gave it. you a Nigel Houston board, bro. I want to speak about this in so many different podcasts because <laughs> it's so fucking funny to me. So <laughs> should I, should I, you want to continue? You can tell it. Uh, nah, you go ahead. Y'all want you to tell it. I just want to point out that this nigga had straight hair at the time. Yeah, my hair was straight for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. This is what it looks like it now. It'll be like A little straight. retwist, but whatever. Not Not everything. I'm going to show y'all, I do also have a picture put up in the tab to show y'all for reference what he's talking about, how his hair was straight. When you see this, it's going to let you kind of visualize the story that they finna tell. This is what bro used to look like, bro. He was like an emo dude, you know, like a, a black emo guy, you know. That was him, you feel me? That was his identity, you feel me? I ain't here to judge. I might would have, I don't know. I don't know if I would have been cool with bro back then, but ain't no telling, bro. If I see this nigga walk up looking like that, I don't know, but... Seemed like he was a cool dude. He's a cool dude now. He seemed like he was a cool dude then too. So, but yeah, that's just for reference. So, so y'all can um, picture how he looked in time. my head. Cause that's that's very vital to this uh to this story. Doesn't feel like it. Okay. So, the story goes that Najee Houston was one of my favorite skateboarders growing up, <laughs> and it was especially awesome because Lamont had blessed me with a brand new Najee Houston skateboard. It was a sick one. It was a sick ass one too. Yeah, it was one of his new graphics, like. This is not just comeback, like, so he just cut the... Wait, no, he didn't even cut the dreads yet, huh? He didn't cut mm-hmm. the dreads yet. He just mm-hmm. came back. Mm-hmm. So he came back after, you know, being stuck on a farm or whatever the fuck happened to him. <laughs> 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 whatever happened to that nigga. Anyways, we was at Venice Skate Park. They were doing, like, an element make account. And then, um... I swear this is one of the nicest heel flips I ever done off of this three block because he was sitting right there in the front row watching. Let me explain how that looks. So if y'all never been to Venice Skate Park, there's a three block and then there's like these the ledges. I did a tray flip on the back heel off of this shit whenever I went. That you can sit on that cuts off the sand. And- Not that that shit matters. I'm sure a million other motherfuckers done did both of them tricks too, but they got a goddamn, you hear me? And this nigga, nigga was sitting know. there with his homies right in front of the three block. So right when you land, you can see that nigga in front of you. And when he says that nigga, he's talking about Nigel Houston. Nigel Houston was sitting on the stairs right in front of the three block that Jarrell was skating. Yeah, exactly. You run right into him. You run straight into him. So <laughs> I do one of the nicest heel flips I can because he's obviously watching and I want to impress him. It's literally little kid dreams, the stuff that little kids dream about. <laughs> I land it perfectly. Go up to him say, hey, Nigel, I got your board. It's really awesome, man. I'm a big fan. Blah. <laughs> It's funny as hell, huh? Yeah, it is. Because immediately <laughs> after, <laughs> I didn't even know. You guys are being very kind, but I continued to skate, and he was making fun of me and making fun of my hair, the way it looked. And I'm going to tell you my point of view, nigga. You do that, I just see you talking to him. You showing off the boy, like, I got your boy. Boom, boom, boom. You turn around, them niggas point at your head. 
and start laughing at you, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> That shit is foul. No, no, my heart is laughing at this nigga hair. Yo, these niggas was laughing, the dead laughing. I didn't even know either. They didn't tell me until after we left. That shit only so foul because this nigga was a huge fan of you and just expressed his his love for you, twin. He just did this trick for you, dedicated to you, and then popped up and showed you the board. He's supporting you, even though he didn't buy the board. You feel me? Lamont gave him the board, whatever though, but. This nigga had your board and was really just showing you how much he supported you and how much of a fan he was. And then as soon as he turned around from showing you love, you point and laugh. It ain't like it was just a random ass nigga you just seen. Like you just walked past on the boardwalk and it was a funny looking nigga that you wanted to make fun of. Like this nigga was a fan of you, bro. Really showing you love. But that ain't even the worst part about the story, man. Let's keep it going. <laughs> They start roasting this nigga, so anytime he starts, so his thing is confident. He happy. He like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm doing this shit. I'm in this shit. They get in front of my favorite skater and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then every time he turn around, they just giggling. The shame. <laughs> he just roasted this nigga like some fuck ass niggas, bro. The shame. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Then we go to McDonald's right after, right? And then they break the news to me. <laughs> this when the story started to get even more fucked up. <laughs> and break this. this shit break my heart <laughs> oh no this shit broke my heart it dead ass broke my fucking heart <laughs> oh my god it really did yeah so um they break the news to me that he was making fun of me whatever the fuck I'm sad whatever whatever and then guess who shows up at the McDonald's Anaji Houston I think Stevie Perez at the time or something it, maybe it was it him. was uh, Chase Webb Chase Webb for sure I already knew he was in there but <laughs> Because I, yeah, I will never forget Chase Webb because this man walked up to me and said, Sup, dog? <laughs> After they was just making fun of me and I found out. So I was like, All right, I'm gonna I'm a fucking sock you in the jaw, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sup. Yeah, that's foul. Dog. Like, and by the way, I'm from Inglewood. So, mind you, it's not very often that I've dealt with the Caucasian race, but I'd be damned if I let this little white nigga wake, make fun of me and then walk up to me with some sup, dog. You got me fucked up. Anyways, before. That's yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I would've been pissed off too. I just found out my favorite skateboarder in the world and all his friends, after I just showed my gratitude and love to them in front of their face, started picking on me every time I turned around at the skate park. Man, as soon as I seen them, one of them niggas say, sup dog to me. <sighs> ain't no telling, bro. It's, a, it's like a mockery thing, if y'all yeah, yeah, understand niggas, it. I, like, I, I think niggas is making fun of me. Yeah, it's a, it definitely was a mockery Yeah, right, all right, you think this shit's funny, all right, for sure. <laughs> Like, that's how I was feeling at the time or whatever. Anyways, uh, let's see. What happened? And, you know, he, he probably he probably cool now, or maybe he's bigger now. And if it's still an issue, we'll fucking find out. But, like, nah, otherwise... it's a little kid shit. Yeah, we it must have been. He was, like, 14, 15. Yeah, yeah. I something. think I'm just hostile because I'm recalling it. We was all young. And it's, yeah, you're right. It's the only thing that just sucks about it is you, unfortunately, was... I mean, fortunately, <laughs> was that nigga who popping people look up to and shit. And then... One of your fans is going crazy, and we from we from the, the bad the area. actual gutter, like <clears throat> yeah. Shit. So this type of shit is you know life changing for us to be able to see a nigga like that, and then it'd be like for yo, this, shit on you. Yeah, this is our chance to show off, do this and that. And <laughs> 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 it's funny because these niggas like I don't know. It's funny because they they being dead ass serious. It's a real story, but it. it it's, I like the way they laughing about this shit, though. You feel me? Like, they ain't taking it too serious. They ain't taking it to heart. He taking it to heart, but he's still laughing about it. I appreciate that he found humor in this. But damn, that shit fucked up, bro. Jeez, <laughs> and get, it still ain't at the best part yet, though. I promise you. This shit gets worse, bro. And look at this. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, man. That fucked me up. That nah, shit they took it a step though. further, too. Because after that, uh, <laughs> Josh, this dickhead. Oh, Niji, Niji, he wants a photo with you. That's he wants a photo homie, with you. Homie, yeah, their friend Josh goes up to Niji and is like, hey, bro, he wants a photo with you. Yeah, he, he's cool. He's cool. Yeah, yeah. So watch. But anyways, like, now just like, <laughs> okay. And then, you know, comes in, takes a cool guy photo, and then somebody on his camp takes a photo too. And they post it on Niji's Facebook. <laughs> to tease the nigga. To make fun of me. Everybody's making fun of my hair. This fucked up. You getting this nigga cyber bullied, bro? On purpose, the picture was taken on on Jarrell's homie's phone. Jarrell homie took the picture of him, and then one of Nigel's homies, who was also making fun of him at Venice about his hair, also took a picture just like for joking purposes, and they posted it on Nigel's Facebook page at the height of his career. 
why he got all these thousands of people that like him and coming on his shit? Oh, Everybody. Man. This nigga got a flat press. Oh, he got a flat iron. What the fuck? Oh, is that a perm, nigga? Like, can just, we find this shit on Josh's Facebook, possibly? I tried to find this picture, too, but I tried to find it. I searched through the depths of Facebook to find it, but couldn't. But just think, bro. A nigga with this hair back in, like, 2014 or whatever the fuck year this was. A nigga with this hair standing next to Nigel Houston inside of McDonald's, like... <sighs> Imagine what type of comments was on that picture. Uh, you can probably find it on mine. Yeah, yeah maybe on Josh's because I definitely on. We gonna try to find that shit. Yeah, I tried to find. It. <laughs> I don't know if we I was can. wearing a striped like blue and red shirt. I I remember exactly. I was I, boy. I was pressed. Look at my fist. If you ever find the photo, look at my hand. I was pressed. I was so hurt. Was that the Arthur <laughs> I was pressed. I tried to find this picture, boy, but I could not find it for shit. I, I literally searched for a couple hours, bro, on Nigel Houston's Facebook page. And then I even went to Jarrell Ware's Facebook page. I was going through his friends trying to find any nigga named Josh to see if that was the nigga that he was talking about that took the picture to see if it was on their page. Couldn't find that shit, bro. <laughs> I wish I could have found that motherfucking picture, but maybe I stumbled upon it or maybe they'll post it one of these days. I ain't no telling. Maybe it'll resurface and y'all get to see it, but... Right now, we just got to use our imagination, man. <laughs> yeah, and then um, and then somebody posted it to Nigel's inst- uh, what, before Instagram, Facebook, and then uh, yeah, people were making fun of me. And then I commented some shit, like I commented some smart, some smart Alex shit, and that nigga blocked me <laughs> immediately, <laughs> immediately. Then I seen my mad competitions after that, but no eye contact. Yeah, nah. And Chase Webb did the "What's Up, Dog" thing again, but that. And then you get blocked. That's basically the gist of the story, man. That shit's just fucking crazy, bro. You meet your idol, your favorite skateboarder in the world. Imagine this happened to you now. For the people that don't think this is that big of a deal, just imagine this now. Imagine you a huge Nigel Houston fan. You finally get your chance to meet him. Not only meet him, you get a chance to show off your skills in front of this nigga at Venice Beach Skate Park. You feel me? You show off your skills to him. You land some shit clean as hell that you super proud of. You go up to like fist bump him and show him that you repping him, that you really a fan of him, and that you really do this skating shit. And this nigga like fake, like, yeah, cool, in front of you. And as soon as you turn around, him and all his homies is clowning you. And then they take it a step further as to take a picture with you after you found out that it, you put it to the side for it, just for the sake of the picture now. You already had found out that they was making fun of you. You kind of got bummed, but you still put that to the side and took the picture with, bro, just because like that is your idol. And a Niger pick is a Niger pick, regardless. A pick with Niger, is, it is what it is. So you still took the pick. And then come to find out, right after that, one of his homies also took a picture of y'all so that they could post it on Facebook publicly and humiliate you. Oh, my God, twin. That fucked up. Nigel, your ass is a dickhead for that, bro. You need your ass whooped for that, boy. That shit, that crazy. If Jarrell, if Jarrell was to backhand your ass in that damn McDonald's, boy, you wouldn't, man, you wouldn't even be able to get mad, bro, because you know you dead ass the fuck wrong. <laughs> That shit crazy, man. That's about it, though, man. Y'all get in the comment box. Let me know how y'all, what y'all uh, think about this situation. Let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think Nigel was dead the fuck wrong? Do y'all think it was warranted, given that this nigga did have a flat silk press or whatever the fuck you call it going on, and he black as hell? Let me know what the fuck y'all think, man. That shit is crazy, bro. I don't got nothing else to say about it, though. But all my links is going to be in the description. My music, my merch, support the movement. Please uh comment. All that shit helps the algorithm, man. You feel me? I like to read y'all comments, too. I want to get in there, too, and respond to some of y'all. So, yeah, let me know y'all thoughts. Don't hesitate to subscribe and like all that good shit, man. And, yeah, that's about it, man. I'm out this motherfucker. Oh, Lord.